Intermittent fasting may help prevent cancer. Well, it is stated by they. Who is they? Well, they are typically the World Health Organization and other uh, groups around the world saying that by the year 2030, one out of two people will get cancer and it may overtake heart disease as the number one cause of mortality. That's really disturbing because cancer is 100% truly a lifestyle-based disease. Now, again, you may be exposed to pesticides, toxins, et cetera, in the environment. You don't know it, no fault of your own. You're not trying to expose yourself to those things and you get cancer. People get cancer from spraying pesticides in fields. People get cancer from breathing in asbestos. You know, back in the day when they were cleaning up, people got cancer from um, uh, DDT and Agent Orange and all those things during wars. And so, like, again, that's not their fault. They didn't purposely try to get exposed to those things, but it does happen. So we can't always know how we got cancer, and we do our best only to protect it, right, protect ourselves from it. So here's the thing. We can only do our best, but intermittent fasting does seem to be one of those big ways to be able to do that. So intermittent fasting, um, not only did it help prevent uh, potentially, say potentially cancer, but it may also help with the unwanted effects of chemotherapy. 